Hey you right guys, Trish Mitch Joe here, and um, today we are watching and reacting to um, the first time that, which was uh, requested in the poll. Yeah, I know I only picked this because simply because it has Dylan O'Brien in it. I think it'd be cool to do every Dylan O'Brien film on Patreon. Um, I've already seen American Assassin, unfortunately, uh, but we've done all the Maze Runner films. Um, and maybe like in the future I'll redo American Assassin, uh, just because I, I, I did enjoy the film. I actually had a review for it in my films that I've seen in... And yeah, I wouldn't mind rewatching that film again, so maybe we'll do it in the future, just to say we've done every Dylan O'Brien film. Um, and I think there's one more. Oh, uh, the internship. He was in that, apparently. Yeah, I don't know anything about this film. I think it was released in 2012, so just after he'd started um, Team Wolf. I think it was around when he was doing season two or season three of Team Wolf. Um, so he's going to look a lot younger, like comparing him in this to American Assassin will be funny. Let me know what you think of the film down below. Uh, thank you to you guys for helping to continue to support uh, the channel on Patreon. It really does mean the world and yeah, it means I get to do things like this first time. Oh. I, should, I should get back inside before... Sexual tension you know, already. Look. There was the sound of your voice. You call out my name. I wouldn't have the balls to say that at a party, but go for it, mate. He was a skater boy. He says that's what I know that actor. Oh, the song is amazing. Yeah, the song is amazing. Amazing. Oh, it's your song. It's gonna be their song now, isn't it? Do you want to dance with me? Mm, no. <laughs> what? what? I... Why would you know what to dance with Dylan O'Brien? Yeah, Come on, that. This is the whole film set. I imagine the whole film's like set outside here. Why were people doing cocaine or something? Like, why is everyone running? It's a party. Oh shit. Oh, that's the curly nikes. But hey, you guys want to ride? I, mean, it's, you know, I guess we're heading west. Yeah, I'm just a few blocks away. I'm fine on my own if you want to. Uh... But you don't know him? Yeah. Take it easy, we're time, all right? Let's see you later, guys. Wait. Yes? Uh... Yeah? That front door looks bigger than my entire house. Don't worry, I'm sure you can make, like, a shift of noise. I wouldn't hear a mile away. Over end of the ass. My god. She ain't got any pop vinyls. What's this book? <laughs> the thing pop bars were invented to me. Very cool. You've done it yet? Any of business? Oh come on! We're having a conversation. Crazy guy talks to himself. <laughs> oh my god! Do you want to set this up any harder? Give me your hand. What's go? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Almost a Oh god, no, I'm so... That always goes through me. Whenever that happens on TV shows or film, I cringe. Dolphin dive. Swan dive. Finally, another scene. Fuck. She says boyfriend, and you know she didn't really like you. Thanks, enough. But you can always tell. <laughs> hey, she has a boyfriend. Oh, British. No? Sunlight hits it at a certain point in the afternoon. <laughs> what the fuck? You want it or not, Dave? Oh, you gotta do it, dude. Yes, give us the number. <laughs> I love this guy. I don't know, I probably, hey, probably won't even call her at all. Uh, hi, yes, is this, is this Mr. Oh, what are you doing, Dave? Then I guess I'll see you. Maybe. Oh my god, all this right. is gonna be cool. awkward. I think that went pretty well, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> it didn't, dude. <laughs> is that Klaus? Yeah, I like vampire blood. He looks dead. He looks bored. Technically, she hadn't cheated on him, right? She's not like she kissed you know? Dave, you know what I mean? No, okay. hey. Oh, is this the... the, the I love the pot. I the pot every bloody weekend. Come on. What have we seen? Hey, Dave. Oh, fuck. Hey. Oh, I like blood. Pleasure to meet you both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here and I ride a bike. Yeah, I get it. You know, it's funny, because corporations are destroying everything, like the environment. Democracy, culture, music. It's ironic. Love it. Yeah. Right. We're gonna see how the world ends. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yo, this guy's great. Wait, 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 wait. The guy was born out of his mind. What the fuck's going on right now? And what film are they watching? Yeah, well, she's and kind she of a bitch. She you and she's, and it seems like she likes you. No. It did a bit. I want to travel. Okay. Same. 
No, I want to get back out there so bad. There's so much stuff I want to see. With him? Is that your point? What? Even even only for 24 hours? That was so stupid. Nobody cares about anything except making money, you know, like dollar dollar bills, y'all. So, oh, so this guy. Yo, what is this garden? Dave like Hawaii? He's, he's cool. No, Dave's amazing. He's one of my best Dave's friends. Dave's amazing. Definitely my best guy friend. They never shut up. Never, right? God, I am so sick of these. Relatable. <laughs> I'm actually writing a song about her. No, you're not, dude. Pipe down. About her knees. Yeah, we were supposed to do it last weekend, but I got the flu. Sure. <laughs> Why do you think that I knew you after one night? Please don't just... have sex with Ronnie. <laughs> Please. You dig me? No. No. Please. Yeah, let's just get out in the open. So yeah. Like They're gonna. Aubrey. Oh, gonna go. Uh, okay, yeah, one minute. No, Aubrey. No, why is he twitching? He's just snorting a line in the bathroom. Just mind your business, Dan. Okay, you know what I think? Is it Dan? I think Dave? that you know my name is actually Dave. Oh, okay. Kind of like yeah. how I know yours is actually Dick. Hey! Oh, it's fine. I'm okay. I'm Yo, okay. he should be Sorry, dead. I'm gonna, kill this, I'm gonna kick the living shit out of you. Oh, what's happened? Oh. The world's so harsh, I'm gonna be sick. I feel like, oh no, don't mind her, actually, I can kiss you. <laughs> she got over that quick, didn't she? Nothing more romantic than a, you know, van load of corpses. What are you two talking about over here? Uh, you you, your daddy had a drug problem and he ran away. I love <laughs> <laughs> that seemed awkward. <laughs> Well, let's see what's in the box anyway. What's in the box, man? I dig you so much. <laughs> she digs you, dude. <laughs> Jesus, she, he's not done anything yet. What is. There you go. Jesus. Just say we could have sex like that. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, we could play Monopoly. They just keep going like Scrabble. Cluedo. Get out the popcorn, kiddos. We've got a show. You didn't think that I thought that we were gonna have sex tonight. Wait, Chloe, you didn't think that. Yeah, but that's not good though. Because now you're gonna be pregnant. <laughs> Hilarious. Everything crossed my mind. I have one. His pull-out game best be strong. He's already sweating, dude. Holy shit. I'm gonna call him but I do have these balloons that I got from McDonald's. Oh yeah, that works. Out. Hey, spermicides are really ominous sound. Dude, just stop talking, please. It sounds like something the Nazis committed. You can put it on. Yo, man's getting ready. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, you know, oh, is this why it's called the first time? No. Oh, okay. Mind blown. I didn't even realise. <laughs> what happened? Can we get a flashback, please? Wasn't. With guys, the equipment's pretty self-explanatory, you know. Well, girls, I just Dude, what are you doing? This happened really fast, and and we got carried away. And we yeah, really and fast. fast. I'm glad yeah, they're pointing that out. No, that's the last thing you need to do, dude. Wait. What? I, I know that you want to spend as much time with your sister as possible this summer before you leave oh, New God. York, so, um... Alright, great. I guess I'll see you. See you, Dave. Wow. That was the worst. I genuinely think that is the worst aftermath to a sex scene I've ever seen. Like, that couldn't have gone worse. It obviously didn't go well. Then... Both of them handled it pretty poorly, like afterwards, and now she's like, oh no, I'm gonna go pretty much get back with Ronnie. That's basically what that conversation was at the end. I wish I could just go back to the beginning. beginning? Two days ago. I mean, Friday. That's, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they keep bringing this up, dude. Like a long time ago, doesn't it? Would you like me to take a look at your penis? I'll, I'll volunteer. I volunteer as tribute. So the best thing to do is just let it go. I think that's bullshit. Oh, really? You do? Ooh. Bullshit. No. It's about sticking with it and being a man. And I don't this is the best. Bullshit way, like you're tough or you're a dick. Being a real man. Oh, so fuck. He's got his skanky feet on them. No, I get it. You're tired. 
Look at him crying. I met a boy. What? I'm never gonna see him again. Yes, you were. It's been like a few hours. Just go and call him. Oh okay, here's what it is. Whoa! But... Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. If you'd just be willing to continue having this conversation with me, then we can figure the rest out. Fair play, Giza. I'm gonna be late for school. Hey, you s The second time coming to a cinema near you. <laughs> Oh, the door thing. <laughs> That's more cute. Ridiculous. Later, Hodgman. <laughs> You're not going to kiss. She's not going to do the stop and turn around and run back and kiss. That's that's it. You're not going to turn around. Another time. Let's go. <laughs> Don't actually run. That's embarrassing. Like, you could just... It is cute. I've actually... Like, found it as well. There we go. I'm taking these off. Oh, that hurts so much. I hate that that's so good. Woo! Oh, Chase himself. Who the fuck's Chase? I don't know, guys. That is the first time um, finished. That was very short. That was like, what, 90 minutes? So we didn't, like I said, we didn't even have to change the camera around, which is we haven't had to do that before. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I think it was what I expected it to be. There wasn't many like surprises or anything like that. It wasn't, like I say, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like the one of or nowhere near as close to like one of the best you know teen romance films or you know uh high school films that i've seen there wasn't even any high school in that but you know what i mean that kind of genre of film it wasn't like one of the best i've seen but it was fine i enjoyed it i think my only thing with it as well and they kept bringing it up so i don't know if it's meant to be like a thing that they even knew but it did all seem very quick like they'd known each other for well the whole film was Read basically across a weekend and then that, I'm guessing that was Monday morning because at the start of the film I was like oh we're gonna see him then in high school or whatever after the first 20 minutes um had happened but it was set in a weekend I just think that was all very quick I don't know it was all very sudden I wish it kind of was an hour and a half still but they just spread it out a bit better than they had done I don't know maybe it's maybe it's like a cool thing as well that it's all set in one weekend like it's you know you know, seeing like them going to school and stuff like that'd be even more cliche. I don't know. I don't know if like a weekend just worked for how in love they seem to have been with each other, and then they did have sex after knowing each other for like one day, which one night stands like that's its own thing. Yeah, but these two like seem pretty serious about it, and the I don't know. It just seemed very quick about it. I did like Dylan O'Brien's character though. I think Britt's character she seemed okay. I wasn't as I was nowhere near as keen on her as I was with um, Dave though. She just, I don't know, they, they try to have these, like, ideological conversations about everything. And just, like, intellectual, we're intellectual. It's just like, no, nah, what, what are you kind of talking about? It's not that intelligent. Let's calm down. It's like they were trying to be Mr. Robot, but they, they weren't. Yeah, they, they were cute together, but I definitely preferred him to her character. Which isn't a bad thing. I, did, I wasn't, like, in love with Dylan O'Brien's character. I think that's... I've, I've seen him play, like, Thomas now, Mitch. Uh, Styles, oh, I couldn't remember. Styles, I'd say this is obviously obviously his we his weakest character. Uh, the major one he had three films with Styles, you have like seven se or six seasons. Um, Mitch, though, I think that I said this in American Assassin when I reviewed it, but the first 40 to 45 minutes of that film are pretty much flawless. Um, there was like a nine out of ten for me. I do think the film falls apart in the second half, but. Mitch is a character they did a great job in American Assassin of making you like care about him and you're invested into what his story was about. Whereas here he's just, you know, another teenage lad, <laughs> awkward teenage guy, kind of was pretty much styles at the end of the day. He wasn't pretty much styles, he was a bit different to that, but yeah, um it wasn't anything unique in regards to like, you know, their characters. The friend Simo I think like the the best part of the film or one of the best part was when his friend told him how it was like be a man and just like, you know, just figure it out, so that was cool. And it just ended in a way that was like, well, what happens next, I guess? Do you think maybe they were hoping for another one? I don't know. They didn't make another one, so how much did this make at the bloody box office? Yeah, I think overall it had some good scenes in there. I do think the first part where they met kind of like the 20 minutes where it was, yeah, where them getting to know each other dragged a little bit. I know you need those 20 minutes to be introduced into your, your characters and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. Just... It wasn't the most engaging meat that I've seen for a, a little romance story. Uh, 
I think it was fine. I'd probably give it like a, maybe a six out of ten, just a six out of ten. Uh, I but I didn't go. I wasn't going into this film expecting like an incredible love story between Dylan O'Brien because I would have heard of it otherwise. I've heard of it before, but um, I've never heard like anything amazing about it. Just that it's a fine film. Not much else to say. It was, it was fine. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like scenes I read. I did like the scene where they, the first time they went into a room, like a room was cool. I loved that. And like I said, the, when the the party scene, they didn't give much to that character, the the one he liked at the start. So yeah, he was, she was whatever. I liked the cinema scene as well. I think that was cute. I think they were the standout scenes. And then when they the big like scene when they had sex, it couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> like Jesus, it didn't because it. I think because it didn't really talk about like what even happened. It's like, I was just there like, oh, I want to know what actually happened. I'm not there like I need to see a sick sex scene with Dylan O'Brien, even though I'm not going to be complaining if we do. Like, what happened? Did the condom fly off and hit her in the face? And then he, you know, he f went all over the walls. I don't, it didn't really go with that. I'm not that bothered to be fair, but it's just like, what could have happened that would have been that bad? To be like that awkward. Because, yo, they were full on ready to break up over that. It was like, okay, well, fair play. I wonder when it together, but yeah. Uh, 6 out of 10 for me guys, but thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you for the next film, whatever that may be. Until then, peace.